rain chances will be in the forecast every day through the middle of next week. The problem is we're not looking at anything widespread, so that's what we need, a good uh, solid half day rain uh, with no severe weather, and that'd be a beautiful thing today. Trying to get a golf game in, get it done early. This afternoon we'll be dealing with heat, humidity, and a few of those isolated thunderstorms developing. It'll be 89 degrees by noon, 94 by 3 p.m. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be hot and muggy once again. Near record highs today and tomorrow. Uh, the record high for today is 96. Some forecasting is to get up to 95. And the humidity is going to be high as well. We'll see the humidity levels climbing into the low 100s during the heat of the day today and tomorrow. And again, a few afternoon, maybe early evening storms popping up this afternoon also. Holiday in downtown Canberra. We're looking good this morning. A little bit of patchy fog. Blue Ridge up into Murphy. Uh, 73 in Chattanooga. 70 degrees in Cleveland. Everybody's about one, two, three degrees above where we were this time yesterday. So just a couple degrees warmer and the humidity is not going anywhere. Pollen forecast showing uh, pollen counts at 60. That is extremely heavy. Mainly again, ragweed will stay very heavy through Saturday. Also, take a look. Uh, the air quality index is at 93. When that gets above 100, we're talking about unhealthy air quality for sensitive groups. So uh, not only do we have the pollen that may cause us some breathing problems, but also air quality is not as pristine as it should be. And so you may have a little bit of the watery eye, itchy uh, nose, scratchy throat thing going on today. A drought monitor showing, uh, yeah, the areas that needed some rain got some yesterday, not helping enough to relieve the drought status. Still slight to moderate drought across much of Hamilton and Bradley County and some other spots as well. Our Viper cast keeping us dry today and only a few spotty showers here and there popping up this afternoon. We're going to see basically the same thing tomorrow afternoon. Clear for the first part of the day, then some clouds and isolated thunderstorms for the afternoon hours. A front slides in on Saturday. A Saturday morning, maybe up on the plateau, one or two showers, and then during the afternoon along that boundary, we're going to have some spotty showers popping up. I'm going to bump our rain chance up a little bit on Saturday afternoon to 40%. So uh, don't be surprised if we get a few showers Saturday afternoon. Sunday afternoon, maybe one or two. This front will be weakening, but we may still be able to pop off one or two spotty showers or storms on Sunday afternoon also. And the extended model taking us into next week. Unfortunately, uh, it was showing a rainy pattern yesterday. Now it's showing a much drier pattern for today tomorrow and then again on Wednesday will up our rain chances a little bit. 30% chance of showers and storms throughout the day on uh, Wednesday of next week. Today we'll get up to 95 degrees heat index between 98 and 102 and uh, there you go all up and down the valley. You want the cooler air slide up to Altamont. They will have a high of 88. So clearing skies tonight. It's going to be humid. We'll drop down to 72. 70 in Cleveland. Very similar temperatures tomorrow to today and near record breaking. The record high for today is 96. We'll get up to 95. 97 is the record tomorrow. Again, 95 and then that front brings in some cooler air. Uh, a little a little bit of an increase in our rain chances on Saturday, and then we'll level off at uh, low 90s for our highs with a 20% chance of one or two isolated showers or storms each afternoon for the first half of next week. Uh, today, tomorrow, suck it up, Buttercup. The heat and humidity are going to be with you, and then a little bit of relief on Saturday and Sunday.